hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel uh, today's video we are going to talk about how to convert a csv file into parquet based file uh, normally you might have seen parquet based files which are there for data storage and other representation of the data and it's highly available it's a kind of a very robust uh, file type that we could use and normally because it's an open source apache based uh, system so you don't have uh, uh, much availability or uh, kind of a conversion pattern from a csv to parquet uh, but uh, azure data factory does provide you a very simple job of converting from one file system to uh, different file type so we'll discuss about what is a parquet and uh, how we can use it so parquet based files are normally free and open source file format it is a very language uh, agnostic system so it's not dependent upon any specific one uh, it's technically a column based format uh, files are organized like in the column rather than by rows which saves space and uh, gives up analytical queries it's used for uh, uh, analytical OLAP uh, use cases rather than OLTPs. Uh, of course, you could use it with the OLTP databases, but uh, the analytics are definitely performed on the OLAP rather than OLTP. It's very efficient, very fast, uh, and does provide a very high level of compression and decompression. And it supports all the complex data types and advanced nested data structures within that. So let's not waste uh, more time on going through what is a parquet based file, rather how we could use a, um, a file, a CSV file and convert it into a parquet based through Azure Data Factory. So let's see how we can use uh, uh, Azure Data Factory to convert a CSV file into a parquet based file. Uh, for this, I have a, a, a department uh, uh, if you have already worked with Oracle uh, databases, you have a department table. So that's a CSV file, which I already have just like four rows, a department number, D name and allocation. So we'll use that and uh, we'll convert it. Now, uh, in order to convert this, uh, I have a Azure uh, storage blob storage uh, containers. Uh, uh, it's a storage account which I have on Azure. So let's say I'm going to create two containers out here. One is the uh, input container and uh, this input container i'm gonna provide let's say give some access uh, and i'm gonna create another container so if you're not going to work with this you could use the uh, azure storage uh, explorer also uh, this one actually <coughs> just like a kind of a explorer that would help you to create those containers or anything so let's say if i want to create a blob container over there so i'll just use an output over here so there are two containers one is the input and one is the output which i've uh, created in my azure account within the subscription in the storage account now let's say we'll try to upload a file uh, we'll just upload uh, a file which is there on my desktop that I showed uh, the CSV file so we'll upload that file into here so let's say we'll click on select that file onto the desktop and yes this is the department Oracle CSV we'll open that and upload now this file we have uploaded it into a container called as an input and we'll try to create a Azure data factory let's say pipeline that would actually read this file and convert it into us a parquet based file and put it in the output uh, uh, container so let's go back to the uh, my azure uh, portal and i'll go on to the home and i have a data factory out here uh, i don't have anything right now it's just an empty data factory so we could just create a pipeline over here and then uh, uh, create data sets and uh, linked services to actually do that <coughs> now we'll just go on to the author uh, so let's say we'll create a new uh, pipeline uh, we'll say a new pipeline and we want to let's say name this pipeline as uh, csv2 parquet uh, that's the conversion we want and we want to copy the data from one that is the source to the uh, different one so this is also convert csv2 parquet so that's the file which i want to convert and uh, when you select on this uh, there are main two important properties uh, for this activity one is the source and one is the sync so let's go on to the source 
So in the source, you need to select a data set. A data set is nothing but rather like from where we are going to read the data. Uh, it might be in the form of a data set that's coming from a SQL database or a CSV file or some API or anything. So right now I don't have anything over here. So we'll just create a new one. So you could select a data source from where you are going to read. So I'll just select blob storage because it's in my blob storage. I'll continue that. It's in the right now del uh, delimited text continue it so let's say this is the name uh, data source it is in the form of a csv it is a source and dpt let's say oracle uh, table i just kept that name okay so linked service is a kind of a service uh, through which we actually could read that data source because it's a blob storage so we are going to read it from an azure storage account so i've already created an azure blob storage linked service you could create it through um, like a separate channel also that's not an a big rocket science out there it's just like a pointer by like where you define how you are going to connect to that service you are going to use the username password or an azure key vault or anything some basic certain stuff so I'm just connecting on with the linked service and uh, my file path is the container, uh, which is the input where I've uploaded that file and uh, I'll browse the file name. So if you go on to that, so we have input and an output container. So let's go and check it out. If we could, uh, it's trying to load it. It's taking some while. Okay, so yeah, input and this is the file which we loaded okay and uh, the first row is definitely the header import schema from the connection store yes so i'll just click okay so this is my first uh, data source the, which looks fine to me now the second one which is asking for is the sync sync means what you exactly want to convert it into so i want to convert it into a parking so i'll just go on to the sync select a data set so i don't need this is the already one which we have created so i'll create a new one so it is also a blob storage continue and i'll select a parquet based file system this is the file type okay so you want to convert it to data set let's say it is sync and this is dpt oracle parquet so let's say that's the file so how you are going to connect it through the azure blob storage link service so container is output that's the container and i don't have any uh, let's say you want to give any file name out here so you could supply that file name so let's say it is dpt uh, that's all dpt oracle something like this so that's the uh, file name which i could give i don't have any schema i just want to create as a new file uh, let's say p q e t parquet okay so none and uh, that's fine i'll give on okay so now my sync is done and i could go on to the mapping so where i could do the import schemas it would automatically map it around so it says dpt number to map to dpt number the destination and so on i just want to change it the data type to integer because it's an integer data type and rest looks fine to me and then yeah everything looks good so we could just debug this so if i just debug this so it would actually uh, run this uh, stuff for me and would try to uh, convert the csv file and put it into an parquet format so let's see if it is going yes it's actually running and uh, it's in progress the status is being shown as progress so it takes not take much time yes it shows success succeeded so now if i go on to the storage explorer and i see the output container and i just refresh that so i refresh that output container oops it's not so let's say refresh all um, this is my storage blob containers output it is not there so let's see why it is not there out here so within the um i'll just go on to the rkb data fact oops uh, let's say storage storage account and the containers so output 
oh yeah so it is there it 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 was not showing it might be it has not refreshed or was not available but there is a file dpt oracle.parquet now if you just want to open it over here uh, you could not see exactly how it would look like but it would see you you could see some junk characters and anything because right now the azure uh, this uh, file editing feature or viewing feature does not contain that the whole stuff to view it so either you could download it and view it in a vs code with some kind of an extension to exactly see what is there but that's how the parquet file is converted out so guys i hope uh, you would like this video this is a very simple utility just to convert from one files one file type to another file type and you have that uh, specifying those containers and anything. I'll be coming up with more videos. So stay tuned guys and thank you for watching this video and please do subscribe this video if you like my channel, if you like my videos and do let me know in the comments what kind of a technology or skills you want uh, certain videos to be posted around. Thank you and have a good one.